Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. Time for a quick update on the Konami cabinet. Uh, last time, remember, I had the T-molding and the glass in, as well as the marquee. It's first uh, t time out at the uh, brewery where it's going to be operated. It's going to be as a Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles. I did get the coin doors in. I got all the wiring in. Uh, let's go around the back side and take a look at what it looks like. So in the back, uh, I ended up buttoning down uh, most of the wiring. The speaker wires, I uh, desoldered the original. And a little trick I do, it's hard to see, but on the left side of the speaker where the black wire was, I take a little uh, Sharpie and I do a little black mark so I can see it easily from where I'm working. Uh, normally there's a little bit of red Sharpie around the terminal here, but it's hard to see sometimes. So just make a mark somewhere you can see it so you know the black wire. The, the polarity of these is important. That's why before when they had the blacks tied together and we're running one speaker reverse was completely wrong. I ended up throwing the stereo cable in here. I know some of you guys are saying, but Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles is mono, which it is. So a mono game like Teen Mutant Ninja Turtles uses the connector, the terminals off the JAMA connector and um, <clears throat> Golden Age our, our arcade uh, harness actually comes with a little plug here and he also I uh, acquired about and got an additional mono harness, which just goes to one speaker. So Turtles only has one speaker, and it's mono, where X-Men and Simpsons has two speakers and a stereo. But I ran the stereo cable down, and it comes with this little four-pin plug. And this little four-pin plug would plug in about there on those games. I made a little, took the uh, harness I got from him, and pretty much made a loop. So the black's in the middle, and... Uh, the uh, the positives for the speakers on the outside. Essentially what you would do on the top when you put the two speakers in series, no, in parallel, in parallel. So when you put them in parallel, you take the ohm rating and you cut it in half. Uh, so these, so they're, so the, the positive wire goes to both positives and the negative goes into both negatives. What that means is if I have two eight ohm speakers, I end up with a four ohm load on the board. Before, the negatives were tied together and they essentially ran one signal to each positive, which is then taking your two 8 ohm speakers, adding them together and giving you uh, 16 ohms, which the board, this board's not rated for. Uh, the golden tea that was in here, I don't know. Eventually, long term, that may damage or uh, produce undesirable sound. So this is the acceptable way to do it. Uh, the another thing I could have done, I could have just ran the mono wire up to one speaker and had this wire hanging there. This way, I can just leave this harness on, unplug this uh, tan side of the connector, which comes straight from the speakers, and plug it into the board when I swap the boards back and forth. Other than that, you can see I got my uh, kick harnesses on, which are these two right here, which are for players three and four. I got the coin doors fully mounted. I have the wiring harnesses on. Uh, this coin door required a new harness. This one, the harness was still good, so I kept the original, but I kept the new one in the bag. So the kit came with the new harness. Here's a little kick that goes between the uh, uh, the coin door plugs, so that it actually goes to the two kick harnesses, allowing them the, to feed the coin input into these plugs from the, the coin door. So, um, but, the, but the harnesses on the actual coin doors themselves are identical with the exception of this one has a, um, a meter plug on it and the coin two does not. Now the coin two door I got is actually uh, most likely a coin one two door off another Konami because the plug was, uh, the harnesses were identical, zip tied and all tied out with the same hardware. It even had this plate here for the test switch and the test button. So I removed that uh, because I don't need it and I just gave everything the best cleaning I could. Good news is, is right now, and you can also see the original way uh, with the uh, the ground strap was tied between the two doors. Now, originally it was on the plastic. I made sure to to put that little clip onto the metal, so it actually is grounded. That means everything is grounded here, uh, so that is good. And uh, of course, I will you know be able to change this board out in the future. Everything else I got zip tied down the way it's supposed to be. The left side of the cabinet I didn't have to touch because that's all the original. Uh, AC wiring that came with the cabinet. It wasn't hacked up for the Golden T conversion. I'm going to go back around to the front side. And uh, so what's left to do? That's the big question. I got to get control panel box on. I have these. Now, I was tempted to just like put a little loops and 
hold these down in place, but this box has got to come off for transport. It's just too wide to get through some opening. So it's three screws, four plugs to drop this back, close the control panel. I need to put the latches back on the back here. Those are still sitting in a, a bin behind me. I got the chain hooked up ready for the control panel top. And the control panel top needs to be wired, joysticks, all that fun stuff, <laughs> and installed. Now with the coin doors, let's close this out. Uh, the labels are inconsistent between the two, and I don't like that. I have the mechs that are sitting on the left are not functioning right, so I need to clean those and adjust them. And uh, make sure the lights are working behind all the coin button, the, the coin door uh, reject buttons. And then the last thing is, I gotta put this on, I wanna trim down my little Konami label and uh, put it behind between the glass and the bezel. And then I'm going to also, uh, I gotta adjust the monitor and it's a little fuzzy, a little oversaturated. Kinda, kinda right now it's the cleanup task. I'm trying to get that done. Uh, it'll be definitely done before the next video. I'm hoping to have it done the next two days. And this uh, game will be fully done and playable and ready to rock out. Oh, I also got to put the locks in. So, um, yeah, stay, stay tuned with the project. I uh, Make sure you subscribe and put notifications on for Pinball Ma'am. You'll see the next video when I get it done. Thank you.